You might be a millennial if you graduated in 2009 with more than $20,000 in student loan debt. You might be a millennial if during that time it was really hard for you to find a job. You might be a millennial if you have delayed major life events like getting married, buying a house, or having kids due to financial concerns. Listen, millennials have definitely been through the ringer when it comes to economic downturns. It's pretty clear that the COVID-19 recession is going to hit us hard. In this video, we're going to take a look at the economic landscape for millennials and what we can do about it as a generation to help us move forward with our finances. All right, so let's just take a look at some of the cold hard facts of what happened. We actually did graduate with more than $20,000 in student loan debt right when the Great Recession hit. Now, me personally, I graduated from college in 2011 with $29,000 in debt. I ended up paying off $35,000 in debt over two and a half years, including interest. And the very first job that I got right after I graduated college was a $10 an hour internship that only lasted three months at an advertising agency. And I really had to prove myself to earn a full-time spot making just $33,000 per year with that agency. Okay, so at the time of this recording, the unemployment rate is 14.7%. Back during the Great Recession, when we were trying to find jobs, unemployment rates were at 9.5%. Now, since then, I know a lot of millennials who are still trying to pay off that student loan debt, plus they've taken on personal debt. According to a report from Northwestern Mutual, millennials are carrying almost $28,000 in personal loan debt. That includes credit card balances, car loans, any personal loans, all of that stuff on top of the student loan debt. So in terms of finances, you know, we're carrying a lot of debt as a generation. And it seems as we are going into this recession that that surmounting debt plus the unemployment it's just not looking very good. Okay, so the the biggest thing here with millennials and this COVID-19 recession is number one, millennials are in the workforce more so than any other generation. And that makes sense because we are entering in our peak earning years. So of course, we're going to take up the majority of the employment group and we're going to be in industries that are impacted the hardest by the recession. Industries like airlines, hotels, and restaurants have all been impacted. All three of these industries have experienced major decline in sales. So of course you're going to be seeing people who work in these industries either getting laid off, furloughed, or losing their jobs completely. In fact, according to the Pew Research Center, 35% of millennials said they or someone they know had experienced a layoff or lost their job completely. So a second way that millennials have been hit hard by this recession is that they're delaying life events. Now, this isn't a new thing. We've kind of been known to delay life events because we graduated with so much student loan debt and we were entering the workforce during the Great Recession. So things like buying a house, getting married, having kids, all of these things have been delayed and that's due to money concerns. Millennials have reported that because they are under financial stress, they've actually delayed these things. I can speak for myself. When Kyle and I were talking about getting married back in 2014, we had talked about not wanting to get married while we were still in debt and that we wanted to make sure that our finances were in order, that I had paid off my student loan debt prior to getting married. And, you know, if that hadn't been a factor, it makes me curious, would we have gotten married sooner? So it's kind of interesting. Comment below if you've ever delayed any major life events because of your finances. Another interesting fact that I found too in my research is that 15% of millennials are going back to mom and dad for support. So they are actually living at home with their parents. And trust me, I moved back in with my parents after I graduated from college because again, that $10 an hour a job wasn't cutting it for rent. You can chalk it up to a downturn in the economy, lost jobs, and that looming debt. And 
Millennials are moving back in with their parents to try to stay afloat. Okay, the third way that we've been impacted is our financial well-being, that deeply personal stuff that only we know about, our savings, our retirement, our debt, all of that has been impacted. It isn't all bad though. In fact, I did find a study by Bank of America that said nearly one in four millennials has $100,000 of savings or more in their bank accounts, which tells me that millennials can and are progressing financially despite you know, being sandwiched in between two recessions. So I think co the COVID-19 recession is actually going to make us as millennials put an even bigger emphasis on savings and figuring out how to shelter cash because we've gone through the Great Recession. We've learned how to be frugal with our finances. We've seen how that's impacted our friends and our family in the past. And therefore, as we enter into this new recession, I think we're going to see a lot of millennials just be a little bit more mindful with their finances, which is a really good thing. Every generation has experienced economic hardships. We've seen this throughout history. World War II, 9-11, uh, Black Friday, you know, the big stock market crash in the 80s. It's how we get through those hardships that can make or break a generation. So I think as millennials, I think there's a couple of different ways that we can take control of our finances despite it feeling so out of control with the economy and with COVID-19. So I wanna give you three ideas on things that you can do now. First, millennials are the most educated generation out of all previous generations. In fact, 39% of millennials have a bachelor's degree or a higher degree according to the Pew Research Center. So what that means, with our education background and we grew up with the internet and technology, we have a real opportunity to get creative with our jobs and show our employers how we can function remotely and help your businesses continue to thrive using technology and your educational background. That's super easy to do if you can get creative and look for ways that your business and your employer can still operate. Second, life events don't have to be delayed. You can definitely still go through with a wedding. In fact, um, my best friend's sister was able to do this with a socially distant group. She was supposed to get married in April and then the wedding got canceled, but she said, you know what? We're gonna go through with it anyways and we're gonna keep it small and they did it in a backyard. I think you can still do those things. In fact, we may be poised to hop into the housing market because we could see a downturn in housing market prices and interest rates are like rock bottom right now. So if you've been saving for a down payment and you've been thinking about purchasing a home for the first time, now might be the best opportunity to jump in. Lastly, you can take care of your finances just by reducing your dis discretionary spending. You can up your savings contributions by using a high yield savings account. I personally use Ally, but there are a ton of online banks that offer high interest rates over 1%. And make sure that you are contributing up to your employer's match into a retirement plan. Now, if unemployment has been a factor for you, make sure as soon as you find out about your job loss to apply for those unemployment benefits and making sure that you are looking into forbearance and deferral programs, make sure you are meeting your basic needs first and then looking for ways to cover your responsibilities for your debt payments by using forbearance or deferral programs. I personally think the financial outlook for millennials is a little complicated. On one hand, I've seen how it's impacted us as we've trudged through the Great Recession and now we're about to enter like the battlefield with the COVID-19 recession. And on the other hand, I've seen millennials thrive. In fact, my best friend was able to get a full-time position, locked in an interview, locked in a great salary during this pandemic. So I know it is possible. It's just a matter of getting creative with your own finances and figuring out what works best for your situation. Don't lose hope, guys. I think these types of hardships are what make our generation super strong. And I'm very proud that we've come together as millennials to say, you know what, we're gonna make this happen. We're still gonna have fun. 
and we're going to get through this financially prepared. If you want to join the conversation with other like-minded millennials, hop into my Facebook group. It's private, confidential. There are thousands of millennials inside of there just sharing their stories and we're getting really good feedback and ideas from everybody. I will link to that below. You guys stay safe out there.